Well, Eddie Feiner used to come down and play the, uh, between the seventh inning at the uh, Syracuse Chiefs game. We used to have a team called the Syracuse Herald Angels, and four of us got to play with Gibson. We had four troopers and four other members. And I was the only one that got a hit. It was actually a fluke. I swung at the ball, and it kind of dribbled over the third baseman's head and made it to first base and got miserably thrown out at second when Eddie Feiner thought he was throwing it to home, and he whipped it behind his back. And it was just, it was very embarrassing. I was proud for the hit and embarrassed to be thrown out by somebody who wasn't even looking at the plate. It was just amazing. I mean, you just swung at the word. I mean, if he started winding up, you had better swing. But he had a ball that would go, would go, and all of a sudden it would just rise. I mean, it would just, and you're swinging at nothing for some odd reason. This one went straight, and I, I winged the top of it and just lopped it over the third baseman's head. The only, the only hit he said he's had, and somebody hit him in four years. He would throw the ball. He would, he would whip it so fast that it would grow maybe uh, maybe a foot and a half off the ground and just before it got to you, it would take a, a quick like a bullet. It would just make a quick up like an airplane taking off and everybody used to swing low and by the time you swing it the catch it was catching it up here. It was the craziest thing I ever saw and he had a curveball that would act the same way. Come at you and then just off, just go off. It was just an amazing, amazing pitch.